Hello again, Widow Reed. And allow me to offer my condolences for what's happened and what's about to happen. In case it's not already plain as hilltop potatoes, yours truly is speaking on behalf of Negan this go-around. And I assure you that the man himself personally received your care package next day delivery. I noticed it was the box that I gave you in good faith. Tricks on me. Welcome to Nocro Nation. Welcome back, guys. Hey, guys. Today, we're here to give you our predictions for episode 13 of The Walking Dead. Do not send us astray. I want to send you astray. No. Because it's going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I would call this Battle at the Hilltop because it's yeah. it's going to Battle begin. of the Hilltop. That's right. Uh, so, hey, guys, uh, as usual, if you have not watched any of our predictions videos, we'd like to see the trailer for the upcoming episode and uh, kind of give a little reaction to it and discuss it afterwards. So... 35 seconds. <laughs> yeah, not much to react to. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. On the next episode of AMC's The Walking Dead. It's on. It just means we get tomorrow. I who she's talking to. Maybe one more night. Dead bodies. After that. He's got a small pick of a rifle now. Here they There's come. A lot of movement. Oh shit. Here we go. Oh For yeah, here video, we go. Battle of the Hilltop now. All right, so that was the trailer. Sorry for the crappy reaction, but hey, 35 <laughs> seconds. There was a lot of movement in that trailer. Uh, so. But let's read the synopsis for the episode. It says, trouble arises when unexpected visitors arrive at the hilltop. Hmm. hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and the community is thrust into action. Heartbreaking discoveries are made. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, we know who's arriving at the hilltop. Yep. Simon. Uh, badass Simon. And he is not there to be throwing uh, severed heads, guts uh, for Eugene's plan. A full-on uh, psycho trip or whatever he called it. Uh, eradication. Well, no, no. I was thinking of what Eugene said. Um, full-on... Oh. Full Psycho, you know, his word, weird words that he Whatever, says. Yeah. Name. But anyway, um, Simon is there for... Shock and all. Shock for... That's, yeah. that, that was what he said. Right, yeah. <laughs> I almost threw you off. <laughs> Simon is there for eradication. Yep. Um, so, yeah, this is going to be interesting because, you know, we know that the there are savior prisoners. I'm sure that um, something's going to be mentioned. Maggie might mention something. Hey, I have your prisoners. Um, you know, what are you going to do? I'll just kill them all now or... You can kill them all if you want. Yeah. Uh, so, look, I mean, they're at the gates. Um, it's a pretty tall wall. I mean, what are they really going to do? They got. They can bring it down. They got, yeah, well, but, no, is it all wood? I think they're... No, so they're, 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 yeah, it is. Most of it's it, wood, it, and they have the, the metal sheets yeah. up yeah. top. But, yeah. but here's my thing. Like, there can't be more than, like, 50 saviors in that There's not crew. a lot. Yeah. There's not a lot. And, and, like, there's more right. people in the hilltop. So... I mean, yeah. really, uh, I don't. I don't think much is going to happen here. I don't think it's going to be an all-out battle. Um, I've always been. Some, no, I've no. always been a supporter of. Look, I think most of this battle is going to happen in the last episode. Oh yeah, yeah. Last, last episode, last two and a half episodes, maybe the ending of episode fifteen, but I think, I'm not sure what's going to happen in this episode. I think we might even get the saviors retreating, like. Mm -hmm. You know, noticing that they can't do much here. They need to regroup. Right. They possibly might even run out of ammunition since Eugene hasn't really supplied True. them with any at this point. Yep. Um, and we don't know how much ammunition uh, the Hilltop has. Um, I'm assuming that it's more at this point right now than the Saviors. Well, well it's going to be interesting because I know I, I thought I saw a shot of Maggie with some of the prisoner Saviors behind her, I think. Yep. Um, so, and that was at night, so they were already, saviors were there. Yep. I wonder what's going to happen with that. Are the saviors, like, what is she going to do with that? Another interesting clip that we saw in that trailer was daytime, and there were bodies in the back of a truck. Mm hmm And one of the, the nice savior guy looked like he was digging a grave or I something. I am thinking that that scene there is after the Night's War. Yeah. And they are burying some of their hilltop people i'm thinking it's the savior people why would they bury uh, them no that's well it's outside the wall that's true 
Yeah, you're right. It looked at least it looked like it was outside. It looked the like top. it was outside the wall. Yeah. And yeah. she's making them dig the. She's graves. making them do it. Yeah. So I'm thinking she probably <sighs> caps some of their friends, and or it's up does, to Simon if he wants to continue the battle or not. And maybe he chooses. I got to pull out. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. Um, I mean, we did we did see a quick shot of Morgan. Um, I think they were just getting prepared or something, or maybe they were running back to yeah. get to the hilltop. Um, I don't think I'll have to make mention this here. Uh, the new characters that we saw, Georgie. Um, I don't think that we're going to see them the rest of yeah, the season. I think I that was just put in possible Easter egg, um, possible maybe we might see them in season nine. But I think that was just something cool to throw in to kind of give an Easter egg an idea of something they could do in season nine. I don't think we're going to see them again. Definitely. I, I don't think that we will either. I think that that will be the one appearance of Georgie. We won't see her the rest of the season. Yeah. It was more of just something to set up for right. the future. Right. Exactly. Um, what about the shot of Rick who appears to be loading his gun outside of the main mansion mm -hmm. of Hilltop? It seems like he's returned to he's the Hilltop. He's made it back, yeah. Because we get an aerial view or uh, 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 under... On the ground shot, ground, I don't know what ground, that's called. Ground shot. Yeah, so. of him peering up, and you kind of see the columns of the main yeah, the main house. Well, and what's interesting is that, oh, actually, we did see like a quick shot of Rick during the night battle. It was like very quick. It was like seeing him running with the AK. Um, so I think we, we will get to see him. I was thinking maybe Rick isn't going to be there. Like he's going to go back out, maybe looking for Negan yeah. or something. I don't know. But it did seem like he was going to be there. So We also um, did see little Ben kind of gearing up. <laughs> <laughs> he picked up an assault rifle like, all right, this kid's like, he killed Gavin. He's done with fighting with the stick. He wants to go to an they AK. Need, they need to stop this storyline. I don't know where <laughs> much further they're going to go with it. Yeah, it's... I mean, I don't think that this kid's going to die. I just think that... Do you think the do you think the actual savior is gonna tell him, like jar at him? Hey kid, no, I killed your brother. No, it just adds no value. I it think, doesn't. in my opinion, it's I true. think this whole stuff with the uh, is Ben his name? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just filler. Do you think he'll die? No, they won't kill a kid. No, <laughs> no. But uh, uh, there is going to be struggle between Carol. Well, uh, we got kind of got Carol talking, and I think she's talking she's to Morgan. Talking to. Morgan, Morgan yeah, yeah, probably Morgan. Yeah. Morgan's losing it. We already know he is. Um, but we'll uh, we'll see we'll see what happens with Morgan when it plans out. I think um, he's going to be losing his s. Mm -hmm. He will like that's, out of his mind. Yeah, I think that's how they'll you know get him to. I mean, write it to go over to fear. Yeah, but, yeah. we are slowly episode by episode going to see Morgan start shifting his way back to what he was before he kind of was saved by I forgot that gentleman's name yeah. who taught him the. The meditation and the karate and all he's that. He's coming to realize now that, yeah, you know, he, he can't deal with loss very well, but he's coming to grips of that he is a killer now. You know, he's he's, he's a killer now, and I think it's just weighing too heavy on him. And um, I honestly think, like, and we'll get into other predictions of when Fear the Walking Dead comes closer, but I think really his ending story will be, you know... I, just the war is just going to take so much out of him that he can't handle it anymore, and he's going to leave. Not sure why going to Texas with fear is going to help. Yeah, but I, I just think that he. I think that maybe just maybe Rick's ideal is not what he sees correct anymore, and he just needs to get away with it. But I get, think, get away from it. I sorry. think he is going to leave before the before the end of the war um, because he's not going to see. Or maybe he's not okay with rick saving negan that that's my prediction if it ends that way yeah. it's going to end that way <laughs> um no. so he's all about killing right now and back when he used to be a, a cold blood psycho killer but when rick met him up in the apartment he had to clear he had to kill the things to get rid of them um to to kind of give his peace of mind right. and it's going to go back to where rick has an opportunity to kill negan and to finish it um, and Rick chooses not to, and that's going to literally drive Morgan just insane yeah. and choose to say, that's it. I can't do this anymore. Right. First, you didn't want to kill people. Uh, now you do. Mm -hmm. uh, then you didn't. I'm done. I can't do it anymore. Just going to mess with his psyche. But uh, 
you know, I'm excited for this. You know, I uh, like you said, I, I don't think it's going to be a full on battle. There's just going to be it's going to last for a little bit. Some people will die. And then I think the saviors will retreat due to their lack of numbers, maybe lack of ammunition or um, possibly lack of uh, not to say lack or possibly maybe some characters show up and relieve the hilltop maybe uh, as an Oceanside. Yeah. Um, one thing I'm big to see is how Dwight is going to act yeah. in this situation because, you know, he's going to be rolling with them. Yes, Daryl and Tara know that he went back to steer them away. So I think they're belie they believe that he's still with them. But I think if they see him roll up with Simon, I don't know what they're going to think yeah, if, they, if they see him. You we know? did get a shot of him kind of on the side of the truck. Just kind of like a silhouette yeah. type thing. Was him. Maybe, yeah. I don't know if that's maybe him hiding from, you know, the events that are going on. Right. Um, but it's just how they're going to perceive him if they see him. Like, what is he going to do? Like, he can't just be standing there with a gun and the other saviors are looking at him. Hey, fire, fire, fire. He's not going to do anything. He was at the um he was at the Alexandria when Negan invaded Alexandria. He was on the outside, though. No, he was on the inside. I'm talking uh, oh, season finale, yeah. mid season finale, yeah. uh, where the tight where Shiva jumped right. the the second lineup. Yeah, um, but he didn't fire his weapon. That's right. And then he sends us, uh, you know, a little message to to Daryl. Didn't know. Right. Um, so it, he, he's going to stick with Rick. Yeah. He's, he's oh, just gonna, he's going to do whatever he can. Yeah. You know, he's not going to kill anybody. I, I have no. Yeah. I'm not worried about Dwight being on the savior side right. he is fully on rick's side it's just that he needs to really be careful like you're saying well that's the thing like is simon always going to want him by his side yeah that's the thing i'm kind of yeah. afraid of he, is if simon's like you know if dwight says oh i'll go over here and cover this simon yeah. might be like no, no no no, stick with me stick with me i mean that would be hard you literally have two people tara and daryl that want to kill you mm -hmm. uh, i think daryl will eventually shift and not want to kill him but you literally have two people that want to kill you um and you really need to watch what you're doing so that that you know doesn't remain to be the case that's like, true yeah it's gonna be tough but i'm excited for this episode yeah. do not send us astray it's a good title yeah it is <laughs> uh guys let us know what you think is going to happen with do not send us astray episode 13 of the walking dead uh cannot wait for sunday gonna yes, be guys. awesome it's gonna be sweet so stay tuned for our review of that episode we cannot wait uh yeah, can't that's wait it. for that. Yeah. That's pretty much it. Yeah. So let us know your thoughts. Uh, look at us on. Uh, look at us. Uh, look at us. <laughs> look at us. <laughs> Subscribe if you're new. Check us out on Twitter at Knockbro Nation and also on Facebook at Knockbro Nation. I am Jarrell. This is Josh. We're Knockbro Nation. We're, We're out. out.